with that being said, a lot of girls come in finesse and talking about it's not about your money. It's not, it's about you. You dating them girls that's that want you for your money. But I really like you. But how do I know you really like me? If that's the case, baby, why are you single if you're so good of a woman? What happened? Oh, he cheated on me. What about the last girl? He cheated on you, too. And he cheated on you and he cheated on you. So I told you I live in reality. So in reality parts of it is. If you this great woman, every guy just doing you bad, baby. I don't know what really made him say that. He sounds like a walking contradiction. Um, it just is. We can't move and operate like this. I, I'm i thinking, like, did he lose his mind before he came on camera? Like, is he just hopped up? Like, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so he's saying, why do I have to break? <laughs> like, yo, he's essentially saying good women aren't single. Sure, yes. That that may be the uh, uh, a walking theory for sure. A lot of good women are in relationships. They're married. They're taking, taking. <clears throat> but there are a lot of women that are great quality women, but haven't run into a lot of quality men. And that's tough and vice versa. But I'm speaking directly to what he just said, because if you really look at it and he's going to help me out on this, a lot of men don't really know when they walk into a healthy situation. That's just a fact. You meet a quality woman sometimes and you don't really know it. Because you yourself have not elevated to that level. So it's up to you to really elevate, build, work on self, read, hit the gym, really attack your day. So that way, when you do meet a quality joint, now you know what time it is, right? But if you meet a quality joint and she may be a little bit intimidating, you're going to act very sap like in a sense. You're going to do things outside of your character. So it's up to you to really understand like, yo, handle up first, then get the women. I mean, I can't say too much of anything because Bandman Kevo has finessed his way into securing the bag. So once you secure the bag, hey, do whatever you want. Your life is your life. Spend the money the way you want. But I'm speaking directly to this point because he's saying, and this is tough because I'm going to use his own words against him. He's saying, if you're a quality woman, why are you single? Because these women are telling him like, yo, I don't really care about your money. I don't really care about that aspect of your life. Like, yes, it's a positive, but let's move on. But when you're a dude that puts your money on a pedestal, nobody cares. We already know what time it is. And it's tough because a lot of people won't say anything to those types of guys because they do have the money and they are paying for everything. So we get it. Kevo, you're paying for everything. No one's going to tell you the truth. That's just a fact. If you're paying for everything, you're dropping 12 racks, you're buying Chanel bags. Like if you really want to think about that, no one cares really about the opinion they give you as long as they get some reciprocity on the end. If you're driving off the deep end and somebody's kind of collecting as you go and they know they're just going to bounce to somebody else once you run off the deep end, they don't care. So this man is really in a in a down bad state if you really look at it because if you go to the top of the video the man was getting cheated on got a bbl now he's paying for the for the pooms what are you going to do how are you going to operate through these situations 